Everything in HTML is a node that includes the document, all HTML elements, the text in the elements, HTML attributes, and comments. These form a node tree. All nodes in the tree can be accessed by JavaScript. Nodes can be created, modified, or deleted. In a node tree, the top node is called the root node. So inside the document, we have the root element, which is HTML, and then every node has exactly one parent except the root. This element head node and the element body node each have the HTML node as their root node, and the head and the body are children of the HTML node. A node can have any number of children. Also, siblings are nodes with the same parent. So the head element is a sibling of the body element. And this A element is a sibling of the H1 element. And both these elements have the body element as their parent element. So here, we're creating an element, document.createElement, and we're making it a paragraph, a paragraph tag element. Then we have to add the text to the paragraph. So we're going to create a text node. So we have create text node here, and it's going to add this text into that node, and then we're going to append them together. So we have the paragraph element that we created, and then we have append child, and then the node. This is the text that we created. So the text node we created is a child of the paragraph node. Now we just have to add the node we created to the document. We're going to set parent to equal document.getElementById div1. That's this div1 up here in the HTML. And we're going to do parent.appendChild para. So we're going to add a new child node to this parent. So to this div1 where we're adding a new child node, which is the node that we created up here. So let me run that and we'll see it up in the HTML. See, now we just added up above the world so high at the end here. We appended the child. Okay, let's try something new. Here, I'm going to create another paragraph, para2, document.createElement, p. That's the same thing we had in this line up here, but we're going to add the text differently. So one way to create the text is the create text node, but you can also set the inner HTML to be the new text. So this is also creating a new text node within the paragraph. Just this line is taking the place of these two lines, and it does basically the same thing. So now we're going to get another element on the page. The child node is document.getElementById p1. We now have this node up here from the HTML, and we're going to insert before. Before we did append child, which always puts the new node at the end. But you can also put in new nodes before other nodes. So instead of parent.appendChild, we have parent.insertBefore. And the first thing we're going to pass in is what we're going to insert, and then which is para2. That's this up here that we created. And the second thing we're going to pass through is what we want it to be inserted before. So we have the P1 up here, which is the twinkle, twinkle little star. And we want to insert like a diamond in the sky before twinkle, twinkle little star. So let's run that and see what happens. Yep, just like what I said. It inserts it before twinkle, twinkle little star. I'm going to show you two more things in this video. Replacing a child and removing a child. So these first two lines, we're just creating another paragraph element. We have para3 and it's going to be a paragraph element and we're going to put in the text when the blazing sun is gone. And now we're going to get the parent node, that's the div, the div1, replace child. And the first thing we're going to pass in is what the, the new element is that we're going to be putting in. The second thing we're going to be passing in is what we want to be replaced. So remember, child is this P1 up here. That's the twinkle, twinkle little star. But now we want to replace it with this new line, this new paragraph. So let's try that. And it's replaced. It doesn't say twinkle, twinkle little star anymore. It says when the blazing sun is gone. And then the last thing I want to show you is removing a child. So we have parent, that's the div again, dot remove child, and we just pass in what we want to remove. We want to remove para3, which is what we just added. So if we run that, it does not say when the blazing sun is gone anymore. We've removed that child. Thanks for watching.
My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.